So what is demand and how does it work? Demand is the behavior of the buyer. It's how the buyer makes purchasing decisions. Just picture an angry customer waiting in line for their morning coffee, saying, I demand you sell me this cup of coffee. Demand is all about what we, the buyers, want. And in this case, the buyer wants his morning dose of caffeine. If we had unlimited resources, we could buy everything we ever wanted at any price. But in reality, each person has limited resources and we have to choose between buying one item over another. The biggest factor in these decisions is price. All things being equal, the cheaper something is, the greater the number of customers that will want to buy it. And the more expensive something is, the fewer the number of customers that will want to buy it. The law of demand is all about price. The law of demand can be defined as follows. As price increases, quantity demanded decreases. As price decreases, quantity demanded increases. There's an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. Let's draw a graph to illustrate the law of demand. We have price along the y-axis and quantity demanded along the x-axis. Then we have the most important part, the demand curve. Now, it's important to differentiate between changes in quantity demanded and changes in demand. A change in quantity demanded is a change along the demand curve. A change in demand is a shift in the actual demand curve. The demand curve slopes downward because as price decreases, quantity demanded increases. Buyers want to purchase more of something when it's cheaper. You can think of the D in demand as meaning down. For the law of demand, we're thinking from the perspective of the buyer. For the law of supply, we're thinking from the perspective of the seller. If the buyer wants to buy goods for as cheap as possible, then the seller wants to sell goods for as expensive as possible. They have conflicting interests. Here's the definition of the law of supply. As price increases, quantity supplied increases. As price decreases, quantity supplied decreases. There's a positive correlation between price and quantity supplied. Think of it as supply goes to the sky. Let's learn how the demand curve and supply curve are interrelated. In our example, the fictional supplier, Mango Phones, is in the business of selling smartphones. Since Mango Phones is the supplier, aka the seller, it wants to sell as many phones as possible for as high a price as possible. Let's add some theoretical numbers to this example. At $200 per phone, Mango Phones is willing to produce 100 phones. And at $1,000 per phone, the company is willing to produce 500 phones. So why not just sell the phones at $1,000 each and make tons of money? because maybe customers won't want to pay that much, which would leave Mango phones with a large amount of unsold phones. Now let's look at this from the perspective of the customer, AKA the buyer. At a price of $1,000 per phone, customers want to buy 100 phones. And at a price of $200 per phone, customers want to buy 500 phones. What is the ideal point at which all the phones produced by Mango Phones will be purchased by customers? Right here, at $600 a phone and a quantity of 400 phones. This point is known as the equilibrium price. Think of equilibrium as an equal number of goods being produced and purchased. Now, what would happen if Mango Phones wanted to make $800 a phone instead of $600. Then they would produce about 450 phones, yet customers would only want to buy about 350 phones. This would create a surplus of 100 phones. A surplus occurs when there's more goods on the market than consumers actually want. In the opposite direction, what would happen if Mango Phones decided to sell their phones for $400? Then they would produce about 300 phones, 
yet customers would only want to buy 450 phones. This would create a deficit of 150 phones because customers would want to buy more phones than are actually available. Surpluses and deficits show why the equilibrium price is the ideal price for both the customer and the supplier. 